This is American Restoration. I'm Rick. Nice to meet you, I'm Doug. What is this? This is a creation of Dale Drake's. He's my grandfather-in-law, and he's in the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Hall of Fame as well. Yeah, I know that guy. Wow, and he made this? He made this. This was back in 1935. Back in the day, I used to race anything that went fast. I mean, Dale Drake was such an icon to me. He was a riding mechanic and crew chief for three-time IndyCar winner Louis Meyer. And for something to come in that he actually hand-built, that's pretty incredible. This is a photograph of Dale Drake driving this. Absolutely incredible. Right? And so another picture is of Amelia Earhart posing with That's an incredible with, picture. Yes, she was a honorary judge at Indy in 1935. Oh, wow. So there's only one of these? Only one of those. He built this scooter so that he could go from Gasoline Alley to the pits. And so wow. I think he just was tired of walking. Do you want this running? I want it running, but also nice. museum quality in a basket case. And that's what I call this kind of stuff. When it comes in and it's all apart, it's usually a big challenge. But a one-of-a-kind basket case, that makes it really hard. What I need to do is figure out how the whole thing worked. Since it's hand-built, if it's missing parts, figuring that out is going to be a huge challenge. Replate the rims and the spokes. The motor itself is so temperamental that you could be off like a millimeter and all of a sudden it won't run right. And then get the thing all put back together and make it look like it did in that picture. I'm looking at probably 6,800 to do the whole bike. Yes. All right, you got it. Yeah. I can't wait to start this. <laughs> this is very sentimental to the whole family at $6,800. I'm really trusting that Rick can actually fully restore this piece. I'm hoping that he's looking down and whispering in my ear because I'm going to need him on this. I'm going <laughs> to need him.